It was turnaround Tuesday for the stock market as investors returned from a three-day weekend following the S&P 500's worst weekly tumble since 2020. However, skeptics like me see a bear market bounce that's most likely to fizzle out. Despite Tuesday's gain in the S&P 500, I doubt this is the bottom, given that the Fed's tightening cycle is a long way from being over. We need to see a big shift in expectations for monetary policy, with the Federal Reserve shifting towards supporting the economy and financial markets right now. The Fed is in the mood to tighten. Typically, the bottom in the U.S. stock market comes after a recession has begun and just before the recession comes to an end. Right now, we're not even sure a recession has started, even though it may feel like a recession. We also need to see a bigger decline in the valuation of the U.S. stock market where equities appear more attractive than they are right now. Oftentimes, the market will overshoot on the upside as well as overshooting on the downside. But at this point, I just don't see a decisive bottom in the market from where we can move up. And even though stocks are looking better, I think we'll see more opportunities later. So now, let's take a look at the charts. And one chart today, here is the three-year weekly chart on the Spiders, the SPY, and the close on Tuesday was 375.07. Now, you could just look at the formation from that top all the way down here. It's been a rocky ride. I don't necessarily see any bottoming or basing here. Now, let's go back to early 2020. This was the pandemic crash. From that top there, it was very swift on the way down and very swift on the way up. And it was swift on the way up in part because the Fed was pumping money. We don't have that here. So this move on the way down, which is very rocky, I think is going to be what one should expect on the upside when we finally do bottom. It's going to be rocky. And that's going to give you time to pick some stocks. Here, volume's not showing us too much. However, the MAC does. Looking at the MAC, you can see nice arc all the way over here. And then all of a sudden, we started heading on down more decisively. And again, this is a rocky road on the way down. Now, we have the fast line at this point. This is well below that negative 10. And we have the slow line at this point. So that difference still is pretty large, which means volatility or a sideways stock market at best. So be prepared. Down here into the histogram, we can see we had two bottoms there and here. We're a little bit lower here than we were at uh, this point in early 2022. Certainly much better off than back in 2020. But once again, we've had interest rate hikes with more interest rates hikes to come. Back here, we had money being pumped into the system. Moving on down into the price rate of change, you can see pretty much the same thing. A rocky ride down here with a lot of sawtoothing up and down. I think that's going to continue, and I don't think it's going to head up in any hurry. So again, be patient. Pick your spots. Relative strength, pretty much the same thing. A lot of sawtoothing there. We did bounce off of that uh, 20 level here. We came here, and it's a little bit better, but that's not enough for me to say that we're bottoming and basing. Moving on down here into stochastics, pretty much the same thing there. We are in that oversold territory, so we're definitely going to get a bounce now and then. Nothing ever moves in a straight line, but I think this bottom is going to be a little bit rockier than typically anticipated. Moving down here into the Williams, this is showing you some of that rockiness here up and down with all this sawtoothing. I think we have a lot more sawtoothing to go before we start heading up decisively. Moving on up to the uh, price chart one more time. And I would just say that, look, it's going to be a while. It could be weeks. It could be even longer. 
Just be patient, study those fundamentals, and be ready for those stock market opportunities because they're coming. There are some now, but not enough for me to really start showing you a lot of different opportunities. I want to wait. I want to wait until there are basketfuls of stocks to buy. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.